means that there is a market day in the town and we are gonna go and check it out. It's actually quite exciting. Right now I'm in the apartment where I live. I'm gonna show you around. The kitchen. That's the view from the kitchen to the lake. There is this hallway thing with a bathroom and there is actually an empty room right here, like a smaller one. And from this room, it's possible to see the little island, which is right there. And a couple of days ago, I actually had the chance to visit the church on the little island. This region of Turkey is famous for its lavender and rose fields. They harvest them and produce an oil out of it and after that they make different kinds of products such as creams or perfumes. Now I show you the views from my room. Okay, that's the bed. From this window it's possible to see the mountain and then there is a view to the lake and the town. This lake by which we currently are is the fourth biggest lake in Turkey. Apparently the area is also famous for bird watching because there are a lot of species of birds. So there are the ruins of the castle and the market starts somewhere over here and it stretches behind the castle. Anyway, before we go out, there is something I want to share. So the other day I met a woman who assumed that my first language was Russian because she thought that the official language of Slovakia is Russian. I don't blame her for this. I mean, she just didn't know and that's fine. But what really made me think was that just because of the war which is going on right now, she started to talk to me in a super disrespectful tone just because she thought that I spoke Russian. So and it just made me think yet again how nationality and the language you speak can influence the perception others have of you. So the point is that we just kind of tend to judge people based on their nationality and the language they speak. Even if I was Russian, I would still not have to identify with Russia and its culture. I really think that when incidents like this happen, it's very, very sad, especially in 2022, when on every level the world is just so connected with all the technology and so globalized, yet us as individuals, we are still very divided. Yeah, thank you for listening. The castle is basically on the way from my apartment to the market. It overlooks the town and it's possible to see the whole market from here. Historically, this town was very important and when it comes to the castle, they do not really know when exactly was it constructed, but now it's only some of the walls which stand. In the past, this town was very strong financially and one of the most vibrant markets in the area was actually set up in this town. Then there were a couple of uprisings which made the economy of the town drop, but then from the end of the 17th century, the economy just started to improve again. What has always been important in the area were apples, grapes, watermelon and nuts. There was actually also an important carpet company because cotton was produced here. What is the most important now are apples, which are even exported. And to sustain the apple production, they had to build these huge storages where the air was kept cold and later on they also started to produce apple chips and juice and all kinds of products from apples. Come 
Al gel bakalım.